Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Kickle Cubicle. Alright, let's go ahead and get some things done here. Um, this level is a little difficult because you have to, uh, you have to have good timing uh, in order to uh, beat this level. Uh, you basically gotta kick the, the block, and then when it hits the other side of this uh, row of blocks here, you've got to drop your own, um, column there so that it stops, and you can actually kick it north and south. Um, but you gotta be careful when that happens, when it starts bouncing back and forth, because then it can kill you! And we get watermelons! Okay, another hammer level. These are fun. And they get much, much more fun later on in the game, so... Um, whoa, that's not gonna be good. Okay, basically we just gotta do one each way this time, so... Let's go ahead and get that taken care of, and then we will collect our bounty! Yay! More cherries! And I've got five lives now! Oh, fantastic! I haven't died yet, uh, thankfully, uh, knock on wood, so we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, now this level's actually fairly simple. It's just, uh, kicking the block around and around. Uh, unfortunately, you can't follow the block because you won't be able to kick it. You won't be able to break it, so you gotta just go around and around. But, pretty simple. Pretty simple level. I imagine the first time you play it might take you a, a, a minute or two to figure it out, or maybe, you know, 20 seconds. But there are definitely harder levels to come, people. Don't worry. Okay. Another hammer level. But this time, it's going to try to kill us with enemies. Um, but that's not going to happen, because I am going to craft the enemies, and or kick the enemies, and get bananas! Don't worry, I will spare you the uh, B-A-N-A-N-A-S reference. Uh, well, I told you the reference, but I, I'm sparing you the song. Not a fan over here. Sorry, if you are. But anywho... Um, now we've got a 1-up, and we've got more dream bags to collect, so we are definitely going to get that 1-up. Because I love having more lives. The more lives that I have, the better I feel. I don't know about anybody else, but that's all me. So let's get that live before there's too many green guys on the screen to count. Okay. Whoa, and that's not good. That's what happens when you don't think about what you're doing, and I'm glad I got that one-up. Now, here's a funny thing. The one-up's back. So you can die as many times as you like on one-up levels as long as you keep on getting the one-up. So, have fun with that. Hopefully this time we're not going to die to the spinny green things. Instead, we are going to collect our magical bags, our dream bags, and we're going to move on and uh, hopefully kill us a boss here shortly. So we'll see. More raspberries. It could be raspberries or strawberries, but I think they're closer to raspberries in this, this case. And we got four more levels in Fruitland. Okay, now this is a fun world, or a fun little level here. The trick is, when a block is bouncing, I mean in the middle of bouncing on a spring, you can kick it. So you gotta kick it, and then kick it into place, and you're good to go. But if you don't know that, or don't think to try that, this level may take you a little while. Uh, getting the... the columns in the right spot and kicking the blocks and not dying. Yeah. But, other than that, if you know the trick, it's pretty easy. And now this one is kind of tricky. 
is not only do you have to use springs, and you have to use hammers, both of which can kill you, you have to use precise timing for part of it as well. Because we can't... We can't move the block up there unless we do exactly what we just did. We've got to move the hammer in mid-kick, or in mid-push, in order to get it to where we need to get it. It's not that difficult, but it can kill you. And then the second of the release the deadly green guys levels, um, and this one is a little bit more complicated. Uh, who do we release first? We release him first. So then we jump up here, and we trap him down there. Next, we release him because we can hide down here until he goes into there. Then we trap him. Um, if you move while you set one of the, uh, the blocks or the pillars, you will not set it right. So don't do that. And we get some pineapples, which is what the whole world is shaped out of. Yay! So that's it, right? No, no, no. We still got another level to go. And I'm sure these guys want to say something to us. Oh, and it's this level. The fun level. It's very easy. It's not that difficult to figure out. It's simply keep on kicking the blocks in the same direction. Let me block him off him so he has to come up here and make it a little bit faster. Ha ha! Sorry, I don't have much commentary to go here. Um, it's pretty simple. Pretty easy part of the game. Okay. So anyway, um, if you guys can figure out by my profile or anything like that, I'm actually in the army. Um, I'm actually down in uh, Fort Gordon, Georgia right now for the next couple of days anyway. And uh, I'm finishing up BNOC, which is basic non-commissioned officers course, so I can get promoted one of these days, hopefully soon. <sighs> and we just got out of the field uh, a couple days ago, so it's been fun. <laughs> Okay, the sunken palace is reappearing. Hopefully the princess hasn't drowned yet. And we gotta beat the monster again. So let's see what kind of monster it is. Aw, oh, and it's a heart. Don't you just feel loved? The magic of the heart is going to... Now see, that's not really a whole sunken island thing, because, I mean, it's just buried under the... Whatever. Anyway, at least it's an apple tree. It's not a crazy mathematical jack-o'-lantern. But I don't get the bubbles. But anyway, we got boss number two coming up. The clown named Piro. And uh, I'm going to give him a shot. Hopefully I can beat him first try. If not, I'm going to have to do him uh, next time on Let's Play Kiko Cubicle. So let's give it a shot. And hopefully we can hurry up. Um... He is not a three times and he's dead boss, unfortunately. I think he takes four hits. And he uh, jumps as well. So he can be a pain. A pain in the rear end. Aha, I got you lined up now. Oh, I did. Oh, okay. Well, next time on Let's Play Kiko Cubicle, we beat this guy. 